Hello students, today we are going to learn Fiction 2 of Class 9 CBSE Syllabus A Dog Named Duke by William D. Ellis. Let us know something about our author William D. Ellis. He was born on 24 August 1794 in US. He died on 9 June 1872 in UK. Some of the major contributions of the author are Bounty Lands, Jonathan Blair, Bounty Lands Lawyer, The Brooks Legends. He began writing at the age of 12. Each of his novels appeared on bestseller list. This fiction deals with three living beings. One is Charles Hooper, a man who works as a sales manager for a chemical company. Second is Duke, it is a dog. Third is Marcy, she is the wife of Charles Hooper and Charles Hooper is also known to be Chuck. This fiction gives a perfect example of the friendship of a man or a human being with that of an animal. Also, it tells, it gives an example of the loyalty of an animal towards its master. So, this is basically a dog which Charles Hooper wanted to buy. He liked this dog, but he knew that his wife is not a dog lover. She believed that Pomerian is a kind of dog which is the right size dog for a small plot. So Chuck Hooper, so Chuck or Hooper, he went to the kennel of the dog many a times before he made up his mind to board that dog. The fiction starts with a Hooper's accident. One day when Chuck was driving home, he met with an accident. He was taken to the hospital with a subdural hemorrhage in the motor section of the brain, completely paralyzing his left side. The subdural is between spinal cord and brain. Hemorrhage is excessive bleeding and motor section refers to the main section, main part of the brain. So it means that when he was taken to the hospital, he was bleeding excessively. When his wife, came, Marcy, came to know about the accident, she, she drove to the hospital. She found that Hooper was unable to talk. He could only breathe and had double vision. So, uh, looking at the critical condition of her husband, she called her neighbor to put the dog back into the kennel because there was nobody to take care of the dog. After five weeks, some of the colleagues of Chuck came to the hospital and they asked to take a year off. After six weeks of the accident, he was given a wheelchair. But finally, in March, finally in March, he was discharged from the hospital. His excitement of the homecoming wore off very suddenly because now he was all alone with the thought in the with his own thoughts in that house because Marcy went to the office every day in the morning and Chuck was still in the kennel. So finally, they decided to bring back dog to the home. The day finally came when Duke arrives home. At that day, Chuck wanted to be standing in front of Duke. So with the help of Marcy, he stand. And when Duke spied Chuck, he queered like a 5,000 volt. He was now a missile, a 23 kilo missile of joy. He hit Chuck above the belt. But he could see that Chuck was facing a difficulty in managing his balance. So he recognized that there is some problem with the Chuck. So that was the last day when he jumped. Now he posted, Duke posted his position along with the bat of the Chuck. Many days passes on when they stare each other. There was no, there was a pin drop silence in the room, in the room when Marcy went to the office. So finally at one day, so finally after few days, Duke gave up. He was restless. He wanted to talk. He wanted to make, make noise in the room. So finally he nudged his nose under the elbow of the chuck and tried to lift him up. After many trials of the Duke, finally Chuck decided to move. He asked Marcy to help him stand and finally at that day they took one step. After that step, he collapsed on the wheelchair. 
he felt exhausted but the process continues this was the time period of the training which the dog gave to the to his master he again nudged his nose and lifted him so finally the next day they made four steps ultimately suddenly gradually slowly they increased their step and then the day came when in jan 4 he went to the office without the help of duke he informed his manager that he would come down and work for an hour and after few months he could re he recovered his health and he worked the whole day in march 1956 because of his constant efforts he promoted as a regional manager now they shifted their home who shifted marcy hooper and you the new neighbors they did not know the story they did not know the story of duck and duke and chuck so the neighbors could only see that the the men is moving like a mechanical giant pulled by the dog as if he owned the men in october 1967 duke met with the accident he was taken to the hospital but he could not survive so being depressed chuck carried on his life he worked hard and finally he was promoted as assistant national sales manager of his company he gave the credit of this promotion to the dog why because it was the dog who gave him the hope of new life when he was alone when he was depressed when he felt as if his life has came to an end at that time the duke showed faith on him so finally he is now being promoted as assistant national sales manager or we can say that this promotion is a special tribute to the dog duke